Tiki, you don't know who the hell I know. I've been a journalist for almost 30 years. I know a few people within the Giants organization. I know a lot of stuff about you, my brother, that I would never say, because I wouldn't have, I'd have the decency not to say those things. Chill out. Watch yourself. Hello, everyone. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. And today, I'll be talking Stephen A. Smith, threatening Tiki Barber to basically expose him over the Brian Flores racist comments. This is Al Kabir, the analyst. Not sure if this video is going to be demonetized because the word racist, I'm not sure. But um, Stephen A. Smith ended the show very interesting. You know, he ended the show going at Tiki Barber like, look, I know some things about you. I will expose you. Um, basically, don't speak on my name because you don't know what you're talking about. So I went back and looked at what Tiki Barber said to make Stephen A. go off because everybody go at Stephen A., man. But Tiki really got under his skin for whatever reason. So um, I listened to the podcast and I listened and I read the quotes that he said. So basically to sum it up, and let me put it right here. I also got it in the beginning of the video. Um, he's saying, like, I don't know the Giants organization to be racist at all. Um, they've been great to him. They they are great people. And um he said Brian Flores is trying to make a point, and I'm trying to make a point. So he went against Stephen A. claims of calling them racist. Um, and that's his belief. He been around them. Um, he was actually a part of the organization as a player. And for that, for what I know, the Giants organization love Tiki Barber. They do. Um, I think he was decent. I don't think he was that good, but I'm speaking as an Eagles fan. Um so, yeah, it's one guy that's basically just reporting on the team. Then there's another guy who's been a part of the team. And once again, Stephen A. got in his feelings, man. It was funny to see Stephen A. tick like that um, for him to go off like that. But Stephen A. is going to be Stephen A. Like, one moment he's going off like that, and next he's doing that. But to end the show like that was classic Stephen A. Classic Stephen A. Um, but... Cheeky Barber had to speak up on this. Um, if he do, he will run a lot of streams. But it was hilarious, once again, the way how Stephen A. ended the show. And um, I wonder if these two brothers going to talk. I wonder if they're going to talk behind the scenes to not let it get too big. And um, also, I wonder if Stephen A. actually going to expose Tiki Barber. Like, I, I don't know, man. Tiki is kind of weird to me. He he He's very weird. But what do you think and how do you feel about Stephen A. Smith? Was that big enough to clap back like that? Or Stephen A. Smith should have let it go? I think Tiki just stated his opinion. Um, Stephen A. stated his opinion. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how long this war between Tiki Barber and Stephen A. Smith, the weirdest beef of all time. But this is Al Kabir, the analyst. Ghost.